paramotor versus vehicle in a straight line, one-way race, something I've always wanted to do, and today we're gonna make it happen. The idea of this race is to see which mode of transportation can get you from point A to point B faster. Now there's some things to consider. Obviously a paramotor generally cruises 25 miles per hour and a van can go up to 70 on the highway. However, the van has to take the roads which wind all around, might encounter traffic, but a paramotor on the other hand can go in a straight line, but it might encounter wind which may or may not work to its advantage. So here's the idea. I'm gonna take off from this random cul-de-sac that we found, and I have a destination in mind, another flying site that we've flown out of that's about 25 miles away. Jacqueline is going to take off in the van mobile at the same time and head straight there. The GPS says it should take her 47 minutes to get to her destination. So my paramotor flies about 30 miles an hour and over 25 miles, that puts us somewhere close to 45 minutes. So it should be a pretty close race. Now, obviously the van could just blast on by at 100 miles per hour, breaking all the laws, but she's not gonna do that. She's gonna follow the rules of the road. Me, on the other hand, I could also put on my speed bar and I could blast at full throttle, but I want it to be a close race. So it's gonna be casual versus casual. Me, the van mobile driver. Jacqueline herself. In order to uh, raise the stakes a little bit, we gotta put something on the line. So, the winner is going to take $1,000. Jacqueline, do you agree to said mission? Yes. <laughs> Before we get in the air, if you like what we're doing on this channel and you wanna support it beyond dropping a like, we've got a bunch of Risky Biscuits merch down in the description, like these hats and uh, other sweet t-shirts, so check it out. This is honestly a kind of tight launch. I might have to turn it right a little bit or just hop over the bushes, not hit the power lines. So I decided I'm not gonna use my speed bar because that would be like you speeding on the highway, but should I trim out? I feel like I trimming know. out's Are fair. Are you flying into the wind? Slightly. That's another thing, the wind today, it's in the direction I'm headed, but like two to three miles per hour. Well, if you're flying into the wind, then you could trim out, I guess. All right, motor's fired up. This is a bit of a tricky launch. I gotta favor the right side and not biff it into a cactus. All right, here goes nothing. Jacqueline already has a jump on me. She's up here at the intersection. Well, the interesting part is that she's gonna have to weave all the way into this town when I can just cut off the corner. One thing I have to be aware of is I'm not allowed to fly over populated areas, so I have to navigate around these little communities. Okay, now that I'm rounding this corner, I'm gonna pick a heading out in that direction. All right, it's absolutely crucial I pick the right heading because if I wander off course at all, I'm giving up my biggest advantage. I can still see her, she's way out there. So I have about 30 minutes left till the destination. I no longer see Tucker, but in efforts to not cheat here, I've been setting the cruise control at every different speed limit we've been coming up on. So. No cheating here. May as well get a little lower and have some fun on the way. Look at that beautiful shadow with my freaking selfie stick out front. I don't think there's any high tension wires out here or power lines. That would put me uh, in the loser's position real quick as I wrap myself around some power lines. Hey, Mr. Tractor Guy. What? That is a tractor with freaking tank treads on it. This is not your ordinary tractor. Respect, brother. Sick tractor. Oh no! We're just past halfway and I've got some bad news. I see Jacqueline on the major highway right up there. No way. I totally see him. <laughs> oh my God. He's way out there. 
So she is pulling ahead of me right now. And we're just about halfway. Oh my gosh, he might actually win. This is neck and neck, I would say. It's all up to the type of uh, road she hits ahead. I still see him. We're at like, we're at the same point. I'm here, he's here, and we have to meet here. I feel like with the way I see him here, we're gonna tie. She is way out there. She's definitely getting a lead on me. Probably can't even see her when I crop the GoPro. Oh my God, he's getting closer. This is so funny. Moments ago, I still saw Jacqueline out on the horizon, but I have a feeling it's gonna be neck and neck because she has to take a couple slower roads once she gets off the highway to get to our uh, checkpoint. All right, we're coming up on the final stretch and I'm fairly certain I see her up here at the traffic light. I'm at a red light and he's right over there. All right, I'm at a red light. I'm gonna quickly show you this. Oh my gosh, I need a green arrow. <laughs> he is just like hauling along, no way. If I zoom in on the GoPro, you, yep, that's totally the Van Mobile. She has to make a left here. Look at this. This is awesome. She's at the light. She's stuck. Green arrow. Green arrow. She can't make a left turn yet. <laughs> yes. She's totally going to see me too. If this red light makes me lose $1,000, he's about to pass me. Oh, frick. There he goes, and everyone's probably like, what the hell is that thing flying across the highway? <laughs> Look at her, she's got her signal on. Oh, she's making the turn. She made it. This is so neck and neck. I might just be able to get her. She's gonna get me on this straightaway here on the highway unless she gets stuck on another light, but I'm gonna cover more ground when she has to go off road to get to our actual checkpoint. We are matched. We are next to each other. This is so close. I cannot believe it. She's right there. <laughs> no way. No more red lights, guys, please. Okay, now she's on my right. She's waving. There's a traffic light coming up that's green. If I cross my fingers, maybe it'll turn red and I'll get a little more jump on her. Yes! It just turned yellow! We got a red light. Bummer! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> She's stuck at the light, and I can push onward. Our target destination is just around the corner. It's green. I'm not speeding. The engine just made a weird noise. She still has to drive out on a dirt road to get to the LZ. All right, Insta360 is disengaged. This is our field right up here. I'm gonna look back. Oh no! She's right on my heels! <laughs> I can see her! She's passing someone in the right lane. <laughs> this is so incredibly close. She's coming up to that intersection. It's just a stop sign. I am shocked that he's that fast. But here's where I'm gonna get her. Our site is in the middle of this field. She has to enter over there off of the highway and drive through this sort of landscape to get to me. So I'm totally gonna get there first. All right, so this is our checkpoint right here the corner of this little runway. Let's try her this way. Yeah, that feels good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wing down. She's just pulling into this lot. Some of this stuff is soft, you guys. And stopwatch. Stopwatch is going. Just for reference, 
I cannot believe how close that was though. I expected it was gonna be somewhat close, but dang, if it wasn't for this little last off-roading part, we would have been like literally perfectly tied. Exactly five minutes. Can you believe it? Yeah, because I got that red light. Did you see me get that? Oh, like, yeah, I was like, yes, and you were stuck. So after some discussion, we were talking about uh, the variables at play. Obviously, if there was a headwind, I probably would have lost. But dependent on the location you do this sort of thing, if you do it with more highway time, the van would have an advantage. If there was more back road time, then the paramotor would have an advantage. But in this case, Jacqueline said she reached up to 55 miles per hour. So I think it was a pretty fair test. In the beginning of the video, I said that the winner would take $1,000. And I want to thank our wonderful sponsors at Risky Biscuits Co. for sponsoring the grand prize of $1,000. I just paid myself $1,000. You guys didn't actually think I was going to make Jacqueline give me that much money, did you? But you guys should all go check out the link in the description below, tuckergot.com, to pick up some Risky Biscuits swag because why not? It's basically the best stuff under the sun. Weird birds. Anyways, our little race today between the paramotor mobile and the van mobile was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, definitely drop a like down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Also, if you guys don't know, I started a second channel, which will be in the description. It's dedicated to uncut flights. So if you're the type that likes to put on a video for 45 minutes to an hour and let it play in the background, that channel's for you. Till the next one, peace. Zzz.